Alright, now I'll show you how to set up the program for the limit switch. You're going to go to standalone project, joystick, and you're going to drag a, a, um, a while loop from program flow into the program and set it equals one. You're then going to go to joystick and there's two ways of setting this up. Joystick to motor and limit or joystick digital to motor and limit. I'll show you how to set up both. Don't know what happened there. For joystick number, you have two controllers to pick through, one and two. One's the main controller, the one with the USB port underneath where the VEX key goes into, or the USB for the programming cable. Two is your partner controller. It's the all gray controller. It doesn't have a USB board underneath. I'm going to set mine as main controller. For channel number, you have one through four, which is the direction of which the thumbsticks move. I'm going to set mine as two. Motor is the, uh, the lift motor that's plugged in on the motor side of the cortex. I'm going to set that as 10. Invert direction. Let's say, for example, what invert direction is. If you were pushing forward on the joystick for the robot to go forward, but instead of going forward, it was going backwards, you would flip this to 1 to invert it so it would go forward. But I'm not going to have that case, so I'm just going to leave it as 0. Positive and negative limit switch. Positive limit switch would be a limit switch that's above the lift arm and negative limit switch would be a one, be one below it and you would select a limit switch the limit switch that's plugged in on the digital side of the cortex what ports it plugged in so for my positive one it's one and for my negative it's two alright now I'm gonna show you how to set up joystick digital the motor and limit for joystick number it's the same as it was for joystick motor and limit channel number you have four channels five six seven and eight five and six are the set of buttons on the front of the controller seven and eight are the set of buttons on the top of the controller I'm just gonna set mine as five for button number one equals down and two equals up they'll be engraved on the controller for which ones up and down up will be engraved with a U and down will be engraved with a D so you want to set your forward direction always is up and set it as 2. Motor value is the motor speed. It's already by default set as max of 127, but if you want to change the speed to be slower, you can set it as a lesser value, say 60 if you want. I'm going to leave mine as default for 127. For a limit switch, you would pick the limit switch port that you have for your forward direction, or in this case, your positive limit switch. Mine would be mine's gonna be one and for re your reverse direction it's gonna be the complete opposite of it well I shouldn't say that but for button number it'll be the opposite of that so this is gonna be one instead of two and the motor value is gonna be inverted so instead of being 127 it'll be negative 127 and limit switch you wanna pick the limit switch below the lift arm so in this case I'm gonna pick two and for motor number, my lift motor is 10. Whatever motor you have plugged up for your lift, put it in here.